And keep it clean. What's up, baby? Happy Saturday. Hey, look, today's gonna be a great day. If, if, even if it started off a little bit rough for you, it, it's gonna be a great day. So let's make it happen. Now, the Ravens. Ravens been saying, like, we're gonna make it happen at offensive coordinator. And they have been turning over every stone when it comes to the people that they are both interested in and the people who they have made moves for and requested to interview and interviewed and getting ready to interview for a second time as well. So um, some of the finalists, apparently some of the finalists for their uh, OC position uh, are Dave Canales, who is the QB coach for the Seattle Seahawks. So, again, they looking at what happened over there with Geno Smith and they're like, oh, we love it. We love it. Can you do the same for whoever our next starting quarterback is? And then um, Todd Munkin from Georgia. He's another finalist uh, for the OC position. But. Another name who I didn't know was a finalist, Mike Garofolo, he reported it yesterday. Uh, he said, you can add Broncos offensive coordinator Justin Outen to the list of candidates getting a second interview for the Ravens offensive coordinator. Uh, and that'll happen next week. So they're busy. They are busy. Uh, and he, I believe, is the offensive coordinator that took over after Hackett was fired and not before. I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyway, uh, so they've been making their moves, as we know. And look, man, I um, I don't think I can keep up with all this. Like all the interviews that they've been having, I don't think I can keep up because it's been a lot. Like Ray Ravens, they've been on it big time, man. So if I miss somebody, anybody that they interviewed, which I have, um, hey, I'm just letting you know it's tough because it's more and more people keep coming out. But Jeff Zrebic, he put us on. Because we had heard early on in the process that the Ravens were interested in Byron Leftwich. I know there was even some questions from subscribers that brought up Byron Leftwich. I know my guy, Lord Valley, he broke it down in detail how he would like if the Ravens hired Byron Leftwich because some of the specifics that he pointed out about him was his involvement with the two wide receivers and two great wide receivers, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, how involved they were, uh, but also how involved the running backs were in the passing game as well. And how if you take a running back like a J.K. Dobbins and you involve him in the passing game that much more, good things, could, great things could happen. And, I mean, we saw it like J.K. Dobbins, he – he, he's just like Ray Rice. Ray Rice's hands were better, but it, give J.K. more opportunities to catch the ball so his hands can continue to improve. So, I mean, his hands obviously weren't bad this season. I mean, he, he ain't had many opportunities for catches this season, but uh, so it, 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 he's making it happen. But the opportunity's got to be there too. So with that being said, um, Jeff Zrebic did say, he said, not sure of the timing of it, but another offensive coordinator candidate that John Harbaugh has spoken to has spoken to is Byron Leftwich. Isn't clear whether he's part of the second interview rotation. So I guess it'll be one of those things that we won't know until we know. But again, Byron Leftwich, uh, hey, I, I got no problem with it. You want to explore every possible option that you can to make the best decision. First interviews are getting to know you. You getting to know about the company, just a little basic stuff. Second interviews are like, all right, what can you really make happen? What are your goals? What, what will be your plan? What will be your plan of action if we end up hiring you? And the third interview, third interview pretty much just shaking hands. Hey, let's get this contract written up. This is how much we're going to pay you. This is going to be the hours that you work. Da, 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 da. That's what the third interview usually is. That's usually, all right, y'all want you to meet this manager and this manager and well in football term i want you to meet this is the gm i'm sure you probably met them already or this is the gm this is the owner uh this is the quarterback you're gonna be working with and so on and so forth that's just really uh meet and greet while you work your way in so um ravens are busy with all of that stuff um as far as outing justin outing i do not know much about him at all like hardly anything um so if y'all could put in the comment section his specialties his not so specialties whatever about him uh so you can not only inform myself but inform everybody uh, about mr allen um but yeah if ravens have finalists 
if they have finalists for the job, uh, then that means they're getting down to it. They're getting down to it. Now, um, I would hope, just for the, the, the little glimpse of hope that I have that the Ravens do hire Eric Bieniemy, because, again, that's still my number one choice. Um, I hope that we don't hear any announcements that the Ravens have hired such and such to be their offensive coordinator until after the Super Bowl. Because I want everybody to be available that's possibly available so then the Ravens make their hire. Then they make their final decision because I really want them to exhaust all options. And I want them to make, I know you can't make them wait too long because then they can find another job, but I want them to make this offensive coordinator wait. Whoever their next guy is, I want the Ravens to make him wait. What I mean when I, when I say that, been in job interviews before, a lot of, been in a lot of job interviews before. I've been to a lot. And one of the craziest, most frustrating feelings, um, but in the end, if you do get the job, it, it makes it worth it. But one of the craziest, most frustrating feelings is when you go to a job interview and you have a great interview. You're like, oh, man, that, that went even better than I thought it would. And then on top of that, you have a second interview. The second interview goes phenomenal, too. You're like, oh, man, I'm in there. Then you don't hear nothing. You don't hear anything from the job. And it's like, well, what's like? Is it me? Did I did I do something wrong? I felt like everything went great, and you just sitting there waiting, waiting, wondering. You checking your emails. You making sure your phone's not on silent so you don't miss no calls, and you don't hear nothing. And you're like, man, okay, maybe I might start looking somewhere else. But then you get that phone call. You get that email. Like, hey, you're hired. We decided to select you uh, for this job opportunity. Welcome aboard. And it's like, oh man, I did it. We did it. Um, but. While you're waiting, in the waiting process, that company, they're they looking at other people too. You're not the only person that they're looking at. They're looking at other people too, comparing them to you, seeing how good of a fit that they will be with their company uh, versus you and whatnot. So it, it happens. It's business. But I want the Ravens to do the same thing. I want them to do the same thing. And obviously, Eric B. Enemy, he's a little busy with the Super Bowl or whatnot. Uh, even, if, if, even if it's a coach from the Eagles, they're a little busy with the Super Bowl too. I mean... Yeah, with the Eagles. They, they look busy with, this, with the Super Bowl, too. So I, I want Ravens, if they are interested in somebody from there, hey, wait it out. Wait it out. Because Colts, I mean, it, there's, there's some other opportunities around the league that are opened up. Um, and some may not be filled until after the Super Bowl. Uh, but I just I want Ravens to take their time with this thing. Not too much time, because you ain't got all the time in the world, but take your time with this thing and get it right. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. And we out.